Today we're going to do a little flow to get loose in the hamstrings, the calves, and just a good sort of back side of the body opening. Um, especially if you sit all day, it's good to stretch the backs of your legs. It'll help with um, lower back strain. And it's good to move your back as well, so we'll be mobilizing the spine a little bit. So let's begin by sitting comfortably, any seated position. Um, if you can't sit cross-legged comfortably, you can always prop up, prop up your sit bones on a block. Or maybe you're more comfortable sitting in hero pose with your knees folded under you. You can also place a block underneath for some support so it's not as uh, much pressure on the knees and the ankles. So we'll just begin by closing your eyes and feeling your breath. Breathing into the body and exhaling out. If you can, breathing through the nose, in and out, so that you filter your air. And just notice how your body and your mind and your spirit feel in this present moment. If you practice with intention, maybe setting one now for your practice. So an intention is just one word or a short phrase that will help move your energy in a positive direction. A couple more breaths here just to ground ourselves, solidifying the intention or just Becoming connected to your body and your breath. And then we'll gently open up the eyes and come onto all fours. If you have blocks, these are going to be handy for the practice. So we'll start on our hands and knees, so tabletop position, with a neutral spine first. So take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, Gently draw the belly button in and up without changing your spine. So you're just using your breath to feel how it naturally, when you inhale, the belly goes down. You can release the pelvic floor. And then when you exhale, gently lift the belly in. See if you can find those deeper core muscles. But nothing on the outside changes. We'll do three more breaths just like that. Inhale, belly goes down. Exhale, draw the belly in. Imagine your waist growing a little smaller. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, drawing that in. We'll do one more, just a gentle inner core activation here. Good, now we can release and inhale, look up, chest up, relax your lower jaw. And exhale, curl your mid back up, tailbone down, head down, anchor cat. Inhale, breathe and reach your heart forward. Exhale to curl, really trying to round into a rainbow shape. Inhale, heart comes forward, tailbone up. Now we're coming into that opposite shape. And exhale the whole time. See if you can push the ground away from your chest. So avoid dipping your neck between those shoulder blades. You want to make sure you're pushed away from the ground in both postures so that you're nice and stable through the shoulder complex and the top of the spine. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Next inhale, we return to table. Make sure your table is nice and strong. Again, you don't want to have the chest dipping away from the shoulder blades. You want to keep pushing the ground away from you. But it doesn't mean you round. You're just trying to get a nice flat back. Your next inhale takes your right arm up. Try to keep your hips in line. And then exhale, we're going to come under. Shoulder coming down, head coming down. And then we inhale, breathe, and open up again. Exhale, threading your right arm under. Trying to get that right shoulder under the left shoulder. Inhale, breathe, open the chest. 
Exhale, spread that arm. Good, let's do one more. Inhale, breathe. And exhale, coming down as far as you can. Really reach, bum stays high, head comes low. And then once you're there, we're gonna walk the left hand as far as you can, straightening your elbow, and then push down into your left palm nice and firmly. Feeling a nice stretch through the upper back. Nice deep breath here. We're going to pull that left hand back, push into the ground. Open up one more time. And then exhale. We're going to take the right hand down just for a bit of support. You're going to spin your right foot off your mat, coming into sort of a modified side plank. Push your hips forward and reach your right arm to the sky. And make sure that you're pushing the ground away from your left side. And this might be enough of a nice stretch for you here. But if you can, maybe lift that top leg. You'll have to squeeze your bum to do that. And then reach around for your foot and see if you can kick back, opening the front side of your body, opening the quad muscle, a little bit in the hip flexor, opening the right shoulder. Good, take another breath and release. Rainbow your body. Exhale, come back to your mat, all fours. Let's do a cat and one cow and come back to table shape. Good, your next inhale takes your left arm up, reach the sky. Exhale, thread your left arm under, shoulder down, head down. Inhale, push the ground away from your right hand, breathe. Exhale, thread. Inhale to open, chest goes left, exhale, chest goes to the right, bum stays high, inhale, and exhale, thread, 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 shoulder comes down, head comes down, and then walk your right hand this time, really reach to the front of your mat, press down through that right palm, feel the upper back stretch, nice deep breath here. Pulling that right hand under, you're going to push the ground away one more time to unravel and open. And then just for a little bit of support, take that left hand down, spin your right foot off your mat, take your left foot in line with that knee, push your hips forward as you stretch your left arm to the sky and then reach over your head, bicep by your ear. Squeeze your glute to lift that leg if possible and then we're going to see if we can connect hand to foot and kick back gently, opening up the front side of the left body. Good, nice deep breath. Opening the shoulder, hips, quads. Release back to that rainbow shape, push your hips up high. And then exhale, come back to all fours. And we'll do one more cat. And then cow. And then just widen your knees if you want or keep them together. And you're just going to come back into a child pose for three breaths. Slowly ragdoll your body back up. Okay, we're going to spread those fingers, tuck your toes, and slowly make your way into your first downward dog. Making sure your feet are about hip distance apart. And you want to spread your shoulder blades broadly across your back so that they're not scrunching to your ears. And again, you don't want to lose your head between, um, between your shoulders. You want to keep that chest nice and broad so you're nice and firm through the shoulders. And push into all ten fingers and the palm. Bend your knees a little bit. So if your legs are straight but it's causing you to be rounded, bend your knees to send your weight back a bit further. Good, and then pedal at your feet. Just check in. Feel the calves. Feel your hamstrings. And just notice maybe left and right sides. Just checking in. We'll find center downward dog. Take an inhale, take your right leg up to the sky. And as you do that, feel how that extension in that right leg 
causes more stretch here. And if you don't feel it, see if you can sink your left heel towards the earth a little bit more. And then exhale, we're going to round forward, pull your knee in, shoulders over wrists. And we'll step that right foot between the hands. Here's where the blocks can come in handy. Back knee comes down gently. And you're going to just pull your heart forward, look up, chest up. And your knee is over your front ankle. Okay, if it's passing, you might have to edge your foot up a bit. And then as you exhale, you're going to pull your bum back. Heel stays connected, but the toes and the ankle come up. So sometimes it's tempting just to lift the big toe and the other toes, but try to use the traction of the mat to pull the whole ankle up. And allow your spine to round like Kat we did earlier. And you'll feel a big stretch behind your leg. And then from here, you're going to inhale and see if you can come to a flat back. That will intensify your stretch a bit more. Exhale, release your back. Then release to come forward into that half lunge. Breathe and inhale, heart up, chest up. Exhale, rolling back. Use the traction of the mat to pull that ankle. Get into the calf, hamstring, bow into your leg. Inhale, pull your heart forward for a flat back. Exhale, release. Bending into your knee. Heart up, chest up. Squeeze your left butt cheek to help open the front of the left side. Exhale, pull it back. Bow into your leg. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, release. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, pull your heart forward. This time, we're going to hold this for a few breaths. Trying to get that sensation behind your right leg. If it is too much, you can always release your back into round to loosen it a bit. Okay, we're going to hold for two more breaths here. Good, gently release the back. You're going to come forward into your lunge. Move your blocks off your mat. Squeeze your hips. Make sure they're nice and strong. Hands come to heart center. Inhale. Lift the arms. Exhale. Cactus. And interlace your fingers behind you. Stretch your palms down together. Knuckles to the earth. Lift away from your bum. Keep your hips nice and strong. Belly is strong. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Open your body to the right side. And then float your left arm down, right arm to the sky for a half twist. And you can also take that full twist if you want, taking the back knee off the ground. And then we're going to heel toe over to the right side with the right foot. And take your right hand by your right arch, left hand to the left side of the mat. And then again, we're going to bring that back knee gently down. And this time, we're going to keep the foot down and the hands down. If the ground feels far, again, you can use your blocks to support you, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a breath in and pull the heart through the arms. Like you're trying to push your chest between your arms. And then exhale, keep your foot planted, hands planted, you're rolling back. Inhale, pull your heart forward, breathe, flat back. Exhale, release the back, bend into your knee, come forward. Inhale, pull the heart between the biceps. Exhale, curl back, bow into your leg, inhale, pull forward, stretching the hamstring a little bit more, exhale, release, bend, heart comes between those biceps, exhale, release back, good, inhale, pull your heart forward, chest up, look up, exhale, release, bend into your knee, open, last time, we're going to hold this one, pull it back, Good. Inhale. Flat back. Keep that big toe joint connected to the ground if you can. Pull your chest forward between your arms. Right foot planted. Hands are planted. You should feel big hamstring stretch right at the muscle belly. So the back of your thigh on the right side. Use your breath. Inhaling into the space. And exhaling like you can... Just feel that muscle stretching and melting away, opening up. 
Good. We're going to slowly come forward. You can take your back knee off the ground or leave it down. Push into the ground nice and firm and step back to a nice strong plank. Take a breath in and then exhale. Roll yourself back to your nice firm downward dog. And check in with your downward dog. Maybe your right leg feels a little bit more open. If it doesn't, that's okay. You don't have to judge it. We're just noticing here. But it might feel a bit different than that left side. Okay, finding your center dog. Remember to bend the knees a little bit if you need to. Spreading those fingers, palms down. Left leg floats up. Shooting that heel back. Again, you're going to sink that right heel towards the earth a little bit further. Keep the knee a little bit bent. If it's uh, helping with your back staying flat. And then exhale, we roll forward. Round your spine, shoulders over wrists. And we'll try to sneak that left foot through. Again, back knee is going to come down and the blocks come in handy here. So again, first we lean into the hips, knee over ankle, heart up, chest up, squeeze your right bum, proud heart. Exhale, take your bum back, use the traction of your mat to pull up the ankle. So you're coming into dorsiflexion, bowing towards your leg. Inhale, pull your heart forward, flat back. Exhale, release, bending into your knee. Opening the heart, breathe. Exhale, push the hips back, bowing to the leg. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, release. Good, bend. Inhale. Exhale, make sure that when you come back, that your bum is over your knee and not further down like this, okay? If it is, you might need to inch up your foot a little bit. Pull the heart forward. Exhale, release. Let's do one more on this side. Open. Exhale. Here we go. Inhale and hold this stretch. So the more you pull the ankle up, the more you'll feel your calf. And the more you press down through your hips, holding your back, you'll feel your hamstring a bit more. Good. Let's come forward. Half lunge. Squeeze your hips. Squeeze your core. Arms come up. Hands to heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Broaden your chest. Elbows coming almost behind those shoulders. And then interlace your fingers in a funny way. The other way this time. And stretch your shoulders. Elbows are straight. Knuckles to the ground. Inhale, release. Exhale, twist to your left side. And then your right arm is going to come down. Your left hand goes to the sky. You can take your back knee off the ground for your twist. And then we're going to heel toe the left foot over to the left. Hands are wide. And then you can bring that back knee down. Again, if the ground feels really far here and you feel really rounded, make feel that extra stretch when you pull your heart forward. Exhale, release the back. Bend into your knee. We're going to do two more here. Pulling your hips back, bowing, opening. Chest up, breathe, exhale, release. Coming forward, inhale. Exhale. Good, holding here. Ready? I'm going to pull that heart forward and hold for a few breaths. Breathing into the space of that left hamstring, left back of your thigh. And sometimes one is tighter than the other, so if you have more of a bent knee on one side, that's okay. As long as you feel the stretch in the right spot, you're doing the pose correctly. Good. We're going to gently roll our bodies forward. You can take your back knee off the ground or leave it. Push the ground nice and firmly so you can step back to a plank. And then slowly roll your body into your downward dog. 
softening your knees, broadening those shoulders, checking in now with the legs again, perhaps noticing a bit of a difference in your downward dog, now that we've opened up the back side of those legs, pedaling out those feet, good, roll yourself forward to a plank, and then we come back to child pose. <sighs> Taking a few breaths here. Pulling your hands back, right dolling up. And then arriving back to your seated position. Whatever seated position you feel is good right now. It doesn't have to match the first one. And we're going to just roll our shoulders back. Shut down your eyes. And come back to your breath. Noticing as you breathe in. the parts of your body that are moving, perhaps noticing that the belly rises, ribs expand, and the chest puffs a little bit. And then as you exhale, the reverse happens. So the chest softens, the ribs draw in, and the belly softens in. And if you'd like to take a full Shavasana, you can go ahead and lie right down on your back. Palms face the sky, legs to either corner of your mat, and spend some time breathing in and out of your body, lying down. Staying connected to your practice by listening and noticing your breath. But letting all the muscles fully give in to gravity, letting go allowing your body to absorb the benefits of your yoga practice. And you can spend as much time as you want in your Shavasana. For now, I'm going to say to you, Namaste.